And to other stories, member of the House of Representatives representing Dugua and Tunduwa, that federal constituency, Al-Hassan Dugua, has distributed fertilizers and food items to the poor and vulnerable in, in his constituency. Lomika also inspected several ongoing projects, including a road construction, a multipurpose hall, and a proposed medical center. TVC News senior reporter Ibrahim Issa has the story, and then we'll return with business update. Residents of this constituency, especially those affected by the current economic challenges, have received support in form of fertilizers, food items, and emergency relief. This is part of President Bola Tenebu's effort to ease the burden of indigent citizens across the country. The distribution was launched at the residence of Al Hassan Dugwa, member of the House of Representatives for Dugwa and Tudungweda Federal Constituency. We are in a, in a constituency that we call an APC control constituency. Dogwa Tudungwada Federal Constituency in Kano State has been APC. It is APC today and it will continue to be APC tomorrow. Beneficiaries express gratitude for the much needed and timely relief. Alasa Adodogwa empower us like um, fertilizer to the farmers. He empower us with uh, roofing, roofing. Roofing, roofing, roofing zinc. After the distribution, the federal lawmaker inspected a multi-purpose conference hall and a computer training center he constructed. This is expected to provide the constituents of Dogua and Tudungwada with access to ICT and other essential services. The lawmaker concludes his tour by flanking off the construction of a 17-kilometer tarred road from Dadunkowa to Maganda, a project funded by the Presidential Special Infrastructure Intervention at the cost of two billion naira. Dugua, accompanied by a large crowd of supporters, proposed naming the road after President Bola Tinibu. Dad Nkoa to Maganda Road through Nguatanko, through Kondo, Makauta, Shere, Tomori, and Maganda on the final note. It's a road, it's a road that is worth about 17 kilometers. Today we have commenced this project and we are here to plug it up. Mr. President. Al Hassan Dugua also shared plans for a proposed federal medical center in Dadonkua. According to him, when this is completed, it will serve not only Dogua and Tidungwada residents, but also neighboring states such as Kaduna, Belchi, and Jos. He urged the people to continue supporting President Bola Tinibu's administration. These infrastructure initiatives highlight the lawmakers' commitment to addressing the needs of Dogwa and Tudungwada communities.